So I bring in all the wishes and greetings from uh, Speed Medical Institute on behalf of all the faculty members to Dr. Kapil Bajaj for scoring rank number one uh, in MCH Urology and any SS 2022 and CML rank number one and AIMS rank number one. A phenomenal, fabulous and a fantastic uh, achievement of uh, scoring such a beautiful rank and the specialty of your choice. Congratulations to you. Thank you so much, sir. So, can we know uh, something about Dr. Kapil? So, I've done my MPC from Manasi to Delhi. And I've done my MS from PJ Chandigarh. But after that, I did senior residency for one year. Sir. And during my senior residency, I started preparing for urology and came to know about speed from my friends. Sir. With speed videos, I started preparing for and those. And those were the matlab, magic bullets that given in the classes. Sir. Those were those words for me. I, I'll say that only. So, so do you use to attend the live classes or recorded classes? Uh, sir, actually with the duty, I wasn't able to live classes, so I attended recorded sessions. So, when did you start? How did you start? And uh, how many hours did you prepare? Can you share something about your uh, preparation strategy so that uh, students who are watching this video definitely will get thrilled? I started preparation during my senior residency, but I wasn't able to cope up with that. So that's why I left senior residency and started preparing all time. So around six to eight hours I used to give for the preparation. Out of it, half of the time was dedicated to the videos only. And after that, I used to read a little bit from Campbell and otherwise from the PPT, that otherwise from the app. So, so were you able to go through uh, all the videos in the urology speciality and also in general surgery, how it was? I mean, how are you able to revise those things? The, the video I have seen at least twice a video, sir. Come again, I couldn't hear actually. I mean, there is internet connectivity issue actually. Okay. But Hello? I've seen you know, all the videos, I've almost seen all the videos twice or twice. I, 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 so, the daily based classes I've attended your each and every class that was daily based, sir. And few of the classes have different and table based classes I've also attended, sir. And urology class. Sir, I have attended twice. I attended twice. Few of them twice also, sir, but most of them I've seen twice. Okay. At least twice I've seen all the videos. Sir. Okay. So, was those uh, videos and content which are there in urology and general surgery, were they helpful and you were able to translate to the exam? Yes, sir, that is why I scored the rank. Those were helpful. <laughs> I'll say that I'm here because of the uh, speed faculty only, sir. Very good, very good and very satisfying actually. Very, very uh, satisfying because um, we do these lectures on almost daily basis. Yes. And both uh, the specialty people and myself, general surgery, it is a, it's a routine on daily. Do something on daily, uh, keep talking, keep teaching, something like that. So when at the end of the day, when we when we get results like this and, um, and it's more satisfying and very, very satisfying to say. Mm -hmm. And um, when did you complete your uh, residency, my, my post-graduation? In 2020, sir. July 2020, I completed my post-graduation. After mm -hmm. that, I uh, started senior residency at PJ Chandigarh. Mm -hmm. So, for around eight to nine months, I continued my residency. So by that time, I realized that I won't be able to <laughs> get into the competition if I continue to do the residency because mm -hmm. urology has a very vast level that now where are you going to join though in the in any three any SS, which one which one you're going to join? PJ <laughs> Okay. So you decided. You decided yes. uh, that you want to do here and you're doing there, correct? Yes. Yes. It was always my dream to, to join PJ Chandigarh Urology, sir. From the, the day I joined PJ in MS, that day I was also I thought PMP to Jenisa Karna or Jenisa Nain Karna. So, to recap, MEBS is from MMC, uh, MS from PJ Chandigarh. PJ Chandigarh. And uh, SR ship is also Urology PJ, PJ Chandigarh. Chandigarh. No, so, so, SRC provided in general 
Ah, uh, SRship. Yeah, SRship in uh, general surgery. But you know the From department. PGH uh, PGH and you know the department of PGH and urology. Yes, sir. I worked there for around three months. I worked there. Yeah. In my PGH. So you 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 decided that you yes. should do urology. Do it here. <laughs> bullseye. It is a bullseye. Huh? So you want an appropriate you want an appropriate content to crack, then you used speed as a tool. That's the story line. Yes, sir. definitely. Yeah. And I understood. It was very, very, very clear uh, on your uh, way of doing it. So, <coughs> did you read Campbell? But not in entirety, but a little bit of it from Campbell. I've also read some. Mm. It's not possible to read and revise Campbell in, in its entirety. So, uh, humor part I read from Campbell, sir, but not the entire Campbell. It's not possible to read this in two hours. People are not able to read it in the MCA course also, so it's not possible before joining to become a field doctor. Understand. So the important points and important tables, something like that. Yes. And uh, now, what will be your message to the juniors or aspirants of MCA urology? What do you want to tell them? But I'd like to say one thing only: if you are uh, predefined, but you have to do MCA, then you have. A subject in mind, then you have to start preparing only. So I started preparing only after leaving my senior residency. So I started preparing very late. Sir. So if you have to, if you are sure about the subject and if you uh, want to pack entries, then you have to prepare early. You have to start preparing early. Okay. So when you are uh, early means when? I mean, is it in the first year of PG or second year of PG or third year of PG? When they have to start? By by second year, you should have an idea in mind that which subject you want. To go ahead with and by the time you start to get this is what I think from my personal experience that I uh, teach. I like to say something. So you should have an idea in mind about the topic. But I did have this uh, clarity in mind, see which subject like all. So that is why I did not see anything in the By the time I realized, it was really Okay. So you uh, are trying to tell us two things. One, you will decide what do you want to do by second year, and you better to start in the second year. The yes. second information you are trying to tell us is where you want to do also you decide. Where you want to do also you can decide, and you can prepare accordingly like a combo. So that means what do you want to do, and by second year you start to do, and third year which institute you want to do also you can determine and work towards it and to achieve it. Correct. Yes. Is that the message that we can take it from uh, Dr. Kapil? But because this is what he has done it, and because he is yes. saying that I have decided after my residency, better you decide before that. And yes. it does not matter when do you decide, but you can definitely determine where you want to do it. Yes, definitely. My my question is, uh, I mean, don't take me wrongly. I mean, why not AIMS and why and PGA? I mean, what what is the uh, what is the kind of difference you find between that? I mean, it's a very internal uh, question. As I'm not supposed to ask it, but still I'm asking it. Out of curiosity. Uh, already was. I've already worked in the department in PGA in Urology for three months. I know each and every one of them. Sir. And okay. hands on wise, also PGA is better than AIMS. This is what I've heard from people, my seniors also. Mm. PGA is my parents and people, so I'll be more comfortable working there. Yeah, I understand. Because you are used to that place and you used to that uh, culture and environment of surgery there. And probably that uh, will be their preference. And um, so AIMS people, I mean, being a first rank, they might be a little disappointed that uh, you are not there. <laughs> yes. So anyway, it is what is it, that is a, that is the privilege of a first rank. That's what I always say uh, to all the students. The privilege of uh, taking a first rank is that you will be in a position to decide what you want to do. Okay. That, that's uh, that's how the surgeons are all about, and uh, you approved it right. And I'm very proud of you. I'm telling you, I'm very proud of you because. I see people scoring the exam. I'm see. I'll see people topping the exam, and um, and I'm, I'm very few. I will see, uh, in spite of whatever the ranks and whatever the list comes, and I will do what I wanted to do. That is the style, and that is probably the couple style, and <laughs> that I I thoroughly enjoy it with you. I thoroughly enjoy and thoroughly like it, and I'll include your story on my storyline, and whenever. Uh, I quote an example tomorrow during a class or after that. Definitely, a couple will be in my story books and storyline. Uh, so story of an inspiration. Okay, so great interacting with you.
and uh, i once again wish you all the best and all the success uh, in years to come as a great um, urologist and we'll be looking up to you and definitely you will do well and um, and and there is a kind of personality you are both mentally and physically i'll tell you i will do this i'll do this <laughs> so that's how a surgeon is all about and i i really like it and we all like it it's not only me the entire team uh like support and all the students are watching this will also like it, like it so you are being a starting example for this and keep motivating people like uh, mm-hmm. what i mean you are motivated through your actions i i speak but you do in actions great so best wishes to you once again to all your family members friends relatives to everyone and also to pgh and dgr as well thank you so much thank you bye bye